Hey, Gemini. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This reading's for Gemini, anyone with Gemini placements, or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading. It is intended to go out for the first eight days of the year. So it's the first weekly reading, but I had to make it an eight-day reading this time because of the way the calendar set up. So we're just going to go with it. The 1st through the 8th of January, 2022, this reading is for those first eight days of the year 2022 and as always it could resonate at any other time that you're guided any day week month or year let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good the gemini reading what do we need to know about it that's too many just one or two what do we need to know here for anyone who's guided whoa we are getting like spastic cards flying out so we got the imprisonment we got the sun and we got the community hmm Okay, at the bottom of the deck sits the family card as well. So sometimes community card for me can be family. It could be any group. It could be your community you live in. It could be your spiritual group. It could be your, um, it could be whatever. Um, and as I was talking to you, the sudden wealth fell out. Did somebody take some money? Because we have imprisonment. We have the sun shining on a group of people. We have sudden wealth in the coffin. Give me one more card. Okay, well, that's way too many. Um, we got the Gemini card that fell out right away, the lovers, okay? And behind that fell the house and toil and labor. So we're going to leave them all here, and I'm going to try to quickly blow through them because I really can't do any more cards than that. Okay, so we have loyalty, and we have protection going on back here, right at the bottom of your deck, right? And before that, we have the thief and we have a bunch of tweety birds here a bunch of troublemakers so this this is a group of people that are we do have imprisonment happening here did these people take a whole lot of money and was their protection in place to stop them i feel as though now when i look at your energy we've got you here gemini we got the house and we got the lovers which is a gemini card and we got toil and labor this could be work so at work, you could have had something shady go down with some of, you know, it's kind of like um, that movie, um, was it Office Space, where they were taking like a fraction of the penny from every customer, and it ended up being millions and millions of dollars, and they all became, you know, successful, you know, multimillionaires by taking a fraction of a cent from each account or something. Was it, was it, um office space i want to say it was office space. if you haven't seen it it's hilarious watch it it's so funny anyway it's a good movie um but let's get into it years ago it's uh, so it's very old i have seen it a couple times but um i think that's the movie i'm thinking of but let's get into this spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this um reading gemini reading for anyone who's guided and as always you know gemini could be wrapped up in this so i have to say that you know readings can go both ways this could be your th you know having an issue um these people could have involved you in it got you stuck in the middle didn't that's you know did something with it but something's coming to an end here with the coffin here so whatever it is with uh the coffin and the sun being here i feel like someone's going to see what whatever was going on well there was some protection put in place here what do we need to know about this reading gemini reading what's it about and as always it could be any this could be a spiritual community doing that this could be you know a corrupt church it could be you know anything it could be a you know a family situation it could be your neighborhood it could be you know whatever it could be any any kind of group all right what do we need to know here let's talk about imprisonment because someone feels stuck let's talk about that okay eight of pentacles yeah there's the work situation and we also got the um uh, the knight of swords and after they fell this fell out like it plopped out afterwards uh, three of pentacles and the hanged man somebody sees what they're doing i'm telling you these are people working together doing something and there's some kind of truth going to come out about it it is a work situation eight of pentacles and three of pentacles no doubt about it somebody's getting caught doing something they're like um this this feels to me like um like uh like the group is doing something and they they're getting caught because they're being seen 
you know, and the truth is coming out in a work situation, um, whatever this is. So I don't know. I mean, there could be a Pisces involved. It, if it's not a work situation, it's people working together in this corrupt situation. But they're, so, you know, they're stealing and they're doing, you know, things they shouldn't be doing. But, um, wow. Okay. I'm just looking back here. I'm not going to go that far back. But while they're doing that, there's some kind of protection and loyalty put in place here. So are they protecting each other or is there something else protecting the situation? Um, let's get a little more information. The sun is coming up. And right after all these cards came out, we have the lack of clarity going on here with the seven of cups. And then we have the sun coming and bringing clarity. So let's find out what this is about. We need to know about the sun here. Why is it here? What do we need to know about it? It has to do with the Gemini reading for anyone who's guided to see it. Why is the sun involved? You could be dealing with a Leo as well. There's Pisces came out so far and Leo came out as well. What do we need to know about the sun card? What's important? Okay, wow, they went flying. The Knight of Pentacles reversed and the um, Star reversed. Here they both are in the upright, but they're both reversed. So wish fulfillment would be to have this offer come in or be able to move forward or whatever this is, but we're, it's a no-go. So with the sun here shining on this, there somebody could be, um, there could be someone who's trying to, um, Actually, I feel like someone can't get something that they want and need. Like there's no wish fulfillment here because no forward movement's happening. But why isn't this coming in? Because people are working together to not to take it or to not allow it or to block it or something. There's something going on here. Uh, so something someone wants and needs, this person could be... Um, could be a Leo, a Libra, or a, um, why am I, Aquarius, I don't know why I couldn't think of what the star was, I say it every day, okay, so a, a Leo or an Aquarius or a Libra, because the Justice card is at the bottom, also could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo for me as well, this is something, um, I almost feel like someone waited a long time for this because the justice is at the bottom here. The seven of pentacles is reversed. So what we've planted, we haven't seen the results of yet. And we got the ace of, or ace of pentacles here as well. I feel like it could be something this, like here's the ace of pentacles not coming in, right? Because it's back here um, needing to come in and it will. I feel like it will. Um, because something's getting seen, like we're starting to see why what we needed or what we wanted didn't show up. Why didn't I get that bonus? Why didn't I get that? Um, yeah, where's my Christmas bonus? Somebody might have taken it, right? Where is my, why didn't I get the position that I was destined to have? What happened? Um, why didn't I get my money from this business why didn't i get paid what i was supposed to get paid why 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 the sun's going to shine on this on why it was blocked why we didn't get the wish fulfillment why okay and i feel as though the sun shining on that is the justice here someone's going to get what they deserve because it's going to be seen there is a protection and loyalty put in place and whatever was taken the thief cards right there and the birds as well troublemakers and gossipers and liars and thieves and here we go on the community let's check out the community the community is either the troublemakers gossipers liars and thieves or it's the protection that's put in place what are we doing about the community? What do we need to know about the community? What is this about? Why is it here? Gemini reading. Well, tower reversed. Look at that. So we could be dealing with a Scorpio that's part of this community. A Pisces that's part of this community. Um, a Leo is, could be involved as well. The Leo might be separate. The Aquarius. Um there's different, there's a lot of different signs coming through in such a small reading. 
Um, let's look at the community again. Give me one more card on the community. We do have the tower reversed, which is a Scorpio card. What else do we need to know about community? Ooh, that's too many. Just one or two. Why is the community here? What do we need to know about it? Is there anything important? Okay, two of pentacles reversed and queen of cups reversed. All right, so we've got the queen of cups reversed and the two of pentacles reversed. So someone's trying to make some kind of a decision about something now this again could be scorpio okay because um but in this deck she's a pisces see how we have the little fish jumping all around here and queen of cups can always be a cancer for me as well so there's some kind of a choice being made here what kind of a choice it has to do with this queen of cups is she the one uh, like i feel like she it came out with her I feel like she's making the choice. Whatever this choice is that she would make, she's having a hard time. It's been emotional for her for some reason because when she makes this choice, the tower comes down on that community. So there's a group that the tower will come down on when she pulls the plug on something. All right, let's look at sudden wealth. I feel like she knows something. She could be a very intuitive person, a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Tell me about the sudden wealth here. Oh, well, 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 the magician reversed. Look at that. So the sudden wealth, someone's manipulating a bunch of money. It's this, whoever this group is, I'm telling you. All right, tell me about the magician here with sudden wealth. The magician is reversed. Two of Wands. Okay, someone who needs to choose a path. All right, so someone could be having a hard time um, choosing which side they're on. This was what I'm getting. I Could somebody really be... It's almost like someone's going to dime these people out. And right now, like, they see what's happening. And it's their choice to choose a different direction. And when they do, because look, look at this. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, this often is you know, some kind of a scam, um, pentacles being drained, not being properly given out. All right. Give me, um, the magician reversed. Give me the two of wands. Who's the one who makes the decision on this? Give me the two of wands. Wow. Yeah. Someone needs to make a decision Two of swords look, and they need to make a decision based off their intuition spirit's probably telling them something listen if somebody here is trying to manipulate money and spirit is telling you over and over again release the money release the money release the money look at it four pentacles at the bottom release the freaking money already you're going to end up imprisoned with the other people because the truth's coming out here wow okay so some kind of truth and i have to say gemini magician reverse is often a gemini or a virgo card so you could be dealing with a gemini or a virgo who's doing this if you or a virgo are manipulating money spill speak your truth right now ace of swords tell the truth and release the money because guess what's going to happen somebody knows about this um maybe more than some one somebody there's protection put in place here from the from the stealing of this money. And I think there's spiritual protection put in place too, because somebody's getting in like you're you or them, somebody here is getting intuitive information saying, don't even think it because you're going to get caught. That's what I see happening here. Now I'm not saying that Gemini would do this at all. Not my Gemini's, but you know, you never know. It's, it's a, just in case you know about it. Tell, tell now, go tell, tell me about the coffin.
Oh my goodness. Look at that. The seven of pentacles, something that's been a long time coming and the wounded warrior in reverse, the nine of swords. Look at all the people the wounded warrior took down. This person is beaten and battered and bruised and really can't even um, take one more. <sighs> one more. Um, I feel as though this is coming to a close. Um, no more is this person going to get attacked. This is done. This person was continually getting attacked. This person could have been continually beaten and battered and bruised. And it could have been from a bunch of scummy people. We've got the five of wands down here. And we got the ten of swords in their back. Uh, these people could have done a lot of shady things. I'm telling you, whoever this group is, the truth's coming out. All right, tell me about the lovers, the house, and the toil and labor. The Gemini reading. Wow, these flew out. I'm not going to take them. It's way too many. The lovers, the house, and the toil and labor. What do we need to know? Wow. The Hierophant. Look at that. Very balanced, very beautiful. Um... This is when I see toil and labor and the Hierophant and the house, this feels like business to me. It feels like a, a work establishment. And you're right here with Gemini, right in the middle of it. This has something to do with work, Gemini. Tell me more. The Hierophant and it has to do with Gemini. Why are we bringing up the Hierophant, the house, and toil and labor for Gemini? Why? I honestly think if it's not you, it's someone around you needs to speak up about something going on at work. We can only take one or two. Why is the Hierophant the toil and labor in the house here? Oh, Eight of Swords reverse. Wow. All right. So we've got the Eight of Swords and we've got it reversed. What did we start with? The imprisonment card, it's the same card and has to do with a group of people at work and some kind of truth coming out. Remember, whatever this is going out on at work, you need to release yourself from it. I'm telling you, something shady's going on at work. Oh, no freaking way. Look at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. Judgment and the devil. It is judgment day. I'm telling you, something shady's going on at work for Gemini. It's something's happening and you need to spill immediately because it's coming out. I'm telling you it's coming out. Whatever it is, if you are involved or anyone you know is involved, speak up, say something, tell. Because there's been some kind of protection put in place and people are getting caught. People are going down. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment and the devil. Okay. So we have Archangel Gabriel, Judgment Day on the Devil. This is like Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is if somebody was, um, let's just say Archangel Gabriel is making sure this all comes out. Okay, whatever this person's doing. And if there's someone here dragging other people into it, God forbid. All right, but I want to show you what else is at the bottom of this deck. Whoever was left out in the cold is no longer going to be left out in the cold. The five of pentacles, there it is. So we have a woman and child in this card coming out of being left out in the cold. We have the ten of cups, happiness and joy. We have the queen and the king of pentacles. And in between that, we have the chariot and we have the full huge cards, huge. I mean, we're talking the chariot we're talking about the fool we're talking about judgment we're talking about the devil here the hierophant huge cards of it's a spiritual smackdown man it really is something's happening here where spirit is stepping in and stopping something corrupt from happening like it just can't happen spirit's just like not on my watch it is not happening on my watch this is crazy crazy energy um we have a capricorn taurus virgo energy here with with cancer um that and and um and aries as well sorry guys my echo dot was getting super duper loud i had to quiet it um so i don't remember what i was saying now but uh this is like okay so we have this divine couple here with um we have uh Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy but one of them might be a cancer and one of them could even be an Aries but they're coming out the king and queen of 
Pentacles. There's something coming in here. Yeah, because they're getting their pentacles. And they're getting their happiness and joy as well. I don't know what this is. It's like somebody was manipulating a financial situation and not allowing someone to have something that was supposed to be theirs. It was a group of people working together and now they're getting caught. They may even be going to jail. I feel like for most of you, this is a work situation. I very strongly feel like this is happening within wherever you work. This information, there is a protection put in place here. There's even a sp spiritual protection put in place as well. Um, and they're saying, Gemini, you have an opportunity to free yourself or to speak your truth or to do whatever you have to do in this situation. Make a proper decision because I feel like there is um, a person, if not more than, I feel like there's more than one person um, that are going to bring down this situation by speaking the truth. Um, but they're just waiting for, um, they're waiting for somebody to, they're waiting to see if somebody's going to come forward first. There's something going on here about someone. I feel like it's you. I really do. I don't know. This is such a specific reading. I am um, sorry for those of you that won't resonate with this, but please do check your other signs. Or if this resonates for you in another way, speak up down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But, um, you know, just to know, yeah, courage just flew out. And that's what it's going to take. Someone's going to need courage to speak up and do something about this. Someone might be needing to make a decision uh, there seems to be one person over here that could be um, stuck in the, you know, in the middle of all this. And someone needs to make a decision to stop the tower from coming down on them because they know what the community of people is doing. I don't know. If, and this could be you as well. Or this could be someone you know. But whatever it is, Spirit says, have the courage to step up and do what's right. There's something about, uh, this is very karmic, first of all judgment hierophant the devil the tower i mean this is so karmic uh it involves money it involves shady business it involves you know a thief it involves uh spiritual protection it involves the birds and the community and the threes and the troublemakers and oh my god it involves something being withheld and the sun shining on this and showing what's there's truth coming out here in something so spirit is saying have the courage if it's you or if you know what this is go to the right people there's something here you have to have the courage to do or you get you're gonna have to reap the karma with these other people i don't know what this is and it's really really specific for it that's a blank one uh, very specific for those of you it's for. And you know what's funny? Because I think, I want to say Libra got these same two cards, courage and faith. And I made a point to say, look at all the, like Spirit says, have the faith, have the courage, dive in, do what you got to do. Because um, these are the only two cards with the little angels, like just having the faith and courage to dive in and do whatever's right, to do whatever they're being called to do. Um, and that's what you're being called to do. Uh, and simplicity spirit says it's going to be way simpler than you've built it up to be okay so that's important too so whatever this is spirit says whatever this is you've built it up to be much bigger than it actually is so you might be the one imprisoned with fear about it and it might not be as big of a deal as you think or they you know or them whatever it is but someone is manipulating something to do with um, some kind of money here. And I feel like you might be the one being called on to, and this is like a spiritual calling. Um, you know, we got spirit all over this reading going, come on, come on, come on. Somebody do the right thing here. It's like a spiritual test. And I just don't know if it's you or if it's someone around you that's getting this spiritual, this test. It's like a test, but you are involved because we have the lover's card, which is the Gemini card right there in the thick of it all with the Hierophant and the house and the ta labor and toil. And then we have the eight swords that comes out and says, please release yourself from this because we start out with you being stuck right smack dab in it, right? And I feel like you're stuck in the whole group. So this might be something you got dragged into and Spirit says, oh no, don't let, don't let loyalty, don't let false loyalties keep you attached to these people. They're thieves. That's what it says. Okay, so if you're being loyal to the wrong people, Spirit says, speak up. Make sure that you are not 
loyal to people who are, you know, toxic or who are thieves or because the truth's coming out and you're going to be drug right into it. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I don't know what this is. I hope some, I hope someone is going to comment down below and tell me if you think you know what this is if it's about you if it's about someone close to you if you are stuck in something that you feel is shady or if you've been feeling like something shady spirits saying something's shady okay god i hope you guys get out of this one or you know whatever this is comes um it looks like you will but you're gonna have to listen to the calling of whatever this is your intuition is speaking to you in so many ways here Anyway, guys, I hope that it makes sense. Please comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe. If it's not your reading, check your other readings because this is very specific reading. Guys, don't forget to watch the gigantic 12-month readings for each sign that I put out for you guys. They were supposed to go out paid on Vimeo and last minute spirit encouraged me to give them away for free because not everyone could afford the fee. And I'm going to rely on good faith that those of you that can afford will donate to the channel and help us keep this channel going. So there we go. My gift to you is giving the readings out to everyone free. And those of you that can afford to can give back if you'd like. My donation um, information is directly beneath this video in the description area. We're trying to buy a new computer and some other things for the channel. And I appreciate those of you that have already donated for the holidays. Thank you guys so, so much. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great new year. Bye.